Thank you. It's selected. The survey will begin at the end of your call. Contacting USAA. My name is Miriam. Auto Policy Services. Can I have your first and your last name, please? Hi, Miriam. This is Michael Barden, B-A-R-D-E-N. Did I get your name right? I, I didn't hear you. You should say Leary. Leary, like I'm Leary of you. No, no, no. You might be Leary of me. I don't know the, the <laughs> note that pops up on my uh, on my account there, that extra security account. No, I thought you said Miriam. Oh, okay. And so I do see your account loaded, Mr. Barton. I want to thank you for using our self-authentication system on today. And throughout the call, I may be asking some additional questions in order to better assist. Oh, okay. How may I assist you on today? Well, my, my insurance seems to have lapsed on the 25th, and I want to reinstate that policy. And the uh, last customer service representative that um, was assisting me, Put me on hold so I could speak with a senior representative, and then it hung up on me. Uh, oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, uh, I don't know if, how unfortunate it was, but uh, yeah, it sent me straight well, to the. Well, it's really fortunate because because now you have me, and I'll be sure to assist you on today. Okay. So, what well, my so question was your... the the mm -hmm. the amount to reinstate my policy policy is five hundred and thirty one dollars and some change. And I want to know if I pay that amount, when my policy will be back in force or when, if it will reinstate. Okay, bear with me one moment. Let me do some research. Do you have any plans for the holidays? That's top secret. Not, not really. We'll see. We'll see. So when this payment is made, we'll be applying for new policies with the last in coverage. If it's approved by the underwriting department, the new policies will be affected the, the day after the payment is made. I'm sorry. Say that one more time, please. If you make this payment today, we'll be applying for a new policy with the last in coverage. If it's approved by the underwriting department, the new policies will be effective the day after the paper was paid. Okay, you said if it's approved. Yes, sir. So basically, I would be expected to make a $531 payment not knowing if my insurance is going to be reinstated. Yes, sir. So bear with me one moment because I do understand how that sounds to you. No, I'm, I'm going to place you on a brief. Yeah, right. I know exactly how it sounds. I actually owned a farmer's insurance agency for five years. And um, I, so I was licensed in insurance. And um, I'm a targeted individual. That's why, like I said, on your screen, it shows the extra security uh, situation, which I know you cannot <laughs> confirm nor deny, but I know it's there. And uh, uh I don't believe that the policy will be reinstated because I'm getting attacked pretty, uh, pretty bad right now with all of my finances. And, uh, well, it's pretty much all encompassing. It's a long story if you've ever heard of what a targeted individual is, but, uh, yeah, I don't think I would feel comfortable paying that payment and then being notified tomorrow that the policy was not put in force, even though I've never been late on a payment or I've never, I don't have a bad driving record or anything like that. Yes, sir. And I, and I do understand all that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out to a um, senior colleague mm -hmm. and I'm going to see what all goes into seeing when the policy appears to be um, effective, how long it'll take and to let you know everything so you can see how you feel about just to provide you with all the information. Okay. And then, and correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, normally when a policy is paid for, as soon as the payment is made, insurance uh, starts. It's in, in force at the moment of payment. Normally. Yes, that is typically how it goes, but with the non-payment cancellation terms, it's a little different. 
um, like I said, we'll have to apply for a new policy, and if it's approved, it'll be effective the day after your payment was made, and that's because anything, any transaction that we do goes into effect 1201 the next day, and that's what anything that we do. Even with new policies? Yes, sir. It'll You'll be covered that day, but we always let you know the effective date will be 1201 the next day. Okay, so if I were to make... Okay, so if I were to make the payment, then we would be covered as of the time I make the payment, but I wouldn't be sure if the policy would remain in force after tomorrow. So basically, I could pay $531 and some change and be insured until tomorrow, until I get a notification that says I'm no longer insurable by USAA. Would that be correct? If that were the case? No. I, I want to say yes, but I do want to get a better understanding so I can provide you with all accurate information. So let me place you on that brief phone. I'm going to reach out to that senior colleague. And now we do get, get get disconnected because of what happened last time. I do be sure that I will give you a call back. Can you confirm your phone number for me? How about you tell me my phone number? One moment. The last four, 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 four. four. Correct. Okay, best in one moment. USAA is insurance for military and military family members. Yeah, and they say that they take care of uh, military. And recently, I don't know, last six months or so, I haven't been hassled by these people on the phone. But for two years when I would call these people they would use the uh, directed conversation saying weird things hanging up on me running me around in circles well actually this last time I got sent to uh, Not voicemail, but I was told that uh, they're going to speak with a senior representative. And then I stayed on hold for, I don't know, five minutes. And then it went right to their customer service survey, which I started taking, but I don't have time for that right now. It's interesting. There's a uh, there's a Twitter page called Vets Against USAA. I guess I'm not the only one that's been hassled.
Actually, did this lady say her name was Leary? Like I'm Leary of you? Like she did how she I'm Leary of you. Yep. Thank you for holding. So I now, now I did speak with a senior colleague, and so she informed me that when um when you make the payment and it goes to underwriting, they typically look at the same thing they do when you apply for a new policy in Wales. They look at your driving record, your accidents, and your tickets and stuff like that. Okay. And so you did state on earlier that you don't have any of these, correct? None. Zero. Okay. So yes, yeah, yes, yeah, so that's what they look at. It's like you're applying for a whole new policy. Okay, so so then in theory, there should be no issue with it being reinstated. Yes, sir. In theory, but it, you know, it's always subject to approval or denial. What other criteria would that be based on, other than my driving record? Um, that's all she informed me that it's based on your driving record, your accident, and your ticket. Hmm. All right. Well, there there should be no reason that I am not approved, other than uh, somebody's Would opinion. You like to go ahead and make the statement today. Yeah, I guess I have no other choice and then uh, yeah then we'll just uh, take whatever action needed if uh, it doesn't get reinstated so all right um, okay so we're paying 531.68 and you have um, five accounts on file you have your external debit and then one six three three Please. Two three zero. Uh huh. Eight one one. Okay. Three two three seven. Okay. So, you ever have you ever heard of that before? Uh, off off the record, uh, targeted individuals. You ever heard anybody use that term? No, sir. I have no idea what you're referring to. Oh wow. Okay, that's definitely something you should look into. It's uh, it's not just something that affects and me. I So I am going to look into that. Okay, so I'm going to give you my website. Okay. It's b a r r e d i n dot u s. And b a r r. Hold on, let me put that in my notes so I can look at it all day. And then by the end of the day, I have it memorized. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, b a r r e d i n dot u s. Kind of like my last name, Barden, but. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically um, in, I'll give you the short version. In mm -hmm. Nazi Germany, when somebody didn't agree with what the government was doing, they would run a physical and psychological takedown program on that person. And they would, they would do all kinds of things to try to make the person look crazy or sound crazy if they um, tried to report what was going on. They'll break into your house, move your furniture around. Um, they will cause wow. accidents in your life that uh, just look like accidents but aren't. Um, they'll attack your finances. Um, they'll like, I have an online business that gets hacked all the time. Um, I get stalked in public 
in vehicles and in stores. Um, a lot of really weird stuff. Um, but I, mm -hmm. I do interviews on radio stations, on online, um, with former CIA, former FBI, former NSA. I've literally got trained uh, recently by a 25-year FBI veteran on how to investigate this better. So I've got some credibility, and um, you know, I'm a 15-year Air Force veteran. I was an active duty firefighter for five years, and I was a journalist for 10 years. But um, I started talking about 9-11 okay. and different stuff like that. And uh, Yeah, it's a long story, but uh, I got targeted, and I'm, I'm going through hell right now trying to keep up with all of this, and that's why this payment was late. And um, It's just good information for anybody that's a United States citizen to listen to. So I talk to everybody. I talk to the person at the gas station, people in, in the line at the store, um, everyone. Every United States citizen pays taxes that's, um, you know, that relies on their freedom as a, as a citizen. And I know these calls are recorded, so you can't say too much, but um, mm -hmm. it's... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just something that, uh, and nothing bad's gonna happen to you by looking up the website. I've got, uh, I've got a YouTube channel with uh, close to a million views on it. Um, you know, this is, uh, it's, it's out there. It's, uh, it's, it's something that's coming to light here pretty soon. We're hoping that information gets released in the FISA report, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act. That's what they, they used against our our citizens. So, anyway, I'll leave it at that. It's a way longer story than that, okay, and I know I'm gonna, you've got. I'm gonna definitely look into this. Okay. Please do. I'd appreciate it. All right. Yes, sir. All right. So how, how will I hear back from uh, USA that my statement's been in, uh, reinforced? Uh, will um, it... if, um, you could give us a call back in about two to three business days mm -hmm. and see if there's any updates on, on your account. Oh, in two to three business days. I thought it would go through underwriting by tomorrow. Well, you can't try to call back on tomorrow, and then when you call back, um, ask the representative that you speak with to contact the billing department to see if your policy has been affected. Okay. And then the billing department will let them know if it's been affected that day, or they'll also set the time frame for when you can try again. Okay. When you say policy, but if, it, if it is, go ahead. Sir, no, I was just gonna say when if you. It is a, if, <laughs> go... if it's not ready for them to tell you on tomorrow. Um, if it is approved, the policy is going to be affected the day after you made the payment. So even if it is, even if it is approved, and it's not approved until three days from now, it's still going to be effective on the twenty eighth. Okay. All right. And when you say affected, you mean uh, by the, the the premium? Affected. Oh, I thought you said if it's affected. Okay, effective, effective. All right. I was yes, just sir, n just the phone is not always a great connection. Not your fault. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that's... Okay. I that... want to thank you for calling in today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. All right. Enjoy the website. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. All right, everybody. I just paid $531 to have my and my daughter's insurance reinstated. We don't have good insurance, it's just limited liability, cheapest policy you can get. Um, so that was for like, I don't know why it was so much, over two months. Um, late fees, whatever. But, uh, I'm going to need some help, please. Uh, rent's due on the first. And the way the bank account is looking right now, that's not going to get paid. I had to pay the insurance because even if we can't make the rent, have to go live in the car or something, that's got to be paid because they'll take the car if you don't have insurance. Um,
Yeah, anyway. Hmm. So my eBay store, uh, if you'd like to shop in our eBay store, uh, if you just go to, don't use Google, use Bing. Uh, it's hats around the world, H A T S A R O U N D T H E W O R L D, no spaces, and then just space eBay. And then that should take you to our eBay store. There's like 15,000 things in there. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm going to do with all that stuff. If we get kicked out of this house, uh, Anyway, that's the eBay store. On my website, there's a PayPal link. At the bottom of my website, like I was telling that lady, bardin, B-A-R-R-E-D-I-N dot U-S. Uh, anything will help out. I think you're in Arizona. Uh... If I remember right, the uh, the people at the uh, management company told me that if uh, the rent isn't paid, that they have a three-day grace period, three-day eviction period, they could kick us out of here in three days. So I don't even know what I would do. The sheriff shows up at your house, I guess, and say, you got to get out. And you're like, well, my stuff is in here. <laughs> my daughter's bed. What, what do I do with it all? And they're like, well, if you can't take it, then it now belongs to the uh, homeowners. Something like that. I don't know. I've never been evicted from anywhere. I used to own a home in California. Used to be the landlord. I evicted some people one time. Actually, I didn't even evict them. I gave them like a 60 day notice. I only had to give them a 30 day notice, but I gave them 60 days to find a new place. And the lady begged and pleaded. I was like, no, I got to sell my house to California. I'm trying to buy a house out here in Arizona, and it's the only thing I have. And then I got to my house, and they had destroyed the entire house. Like, had to replace sheetrock, had to replace the roof. Every outlet was stuffed full of gunk. The carpets were destroyed. They had pet rabbits that ate all the carpets. Nice cut pile of Berber that I'd put in the house. Tile was broken off of countertops. Linoleum was destroyed. Holes in it. Paint all over the walls and floor in the garage. Uh, Doors missing, windows broken. I put $40,000 into that house just so I could sell it. One thing after another. All right, well, anyway, if anybody out there can help out, if, even if you can't help out, share that information, maybe, please. If you got a rich aunt or uncle that uh, cares about veterans or can understand about the targeted individual situation, just need some help getting through this month. I think this month, I mean, I don't know how, what I'm going to do to keep going, but anything would help. I messaged Code of Vets. They seem to help people. I've even sent them some money before. And the 
gladly took my payment, but can't really get a response from them. So who knows what that's about? I don't know, maybe certain certain veterans are worth helping. Targeted veterans are I don't know. Maybe they're not getting my messages. I don't know. All right. Thanks. See you.